Hey Barry, how you doing? How you finding the commute? Any trouble? Hi, no, it's great. Thank you so much. Great. Well, I'm just dropping off your paperwork. Oops. No, uh... I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here you go. Hi, I just wanted to assure you that I am not a gossip and um, I'll never mention this to anyone and you are totally safe. Please, don't worry. Wow, HR is pretty cool here. Well, most of us are trying harder to be on the people side. Just don't tell the staff though. So I mentioned last week that in order to improve focus and self-awareness, I was going to take a week off of all video and audio streaming, and I've reached that goal. I noticed it takes less effort now to do the things I've been putting off due to feelings of overwhelm, such as mustering up the strength and awareness to put down my gadgets and get good sleep. My brain is quieter at night, I remember my dreams, I feel good in the morning. Research has clearly established that a quiet mind is more powerful, more focused, and in terms of career advancement, if you want that, it does take a high level of focus. Though my brain is still suggesting movies and shows and books, I'm on to its game and decided to drop my remaining streaming service and just rent something when I have company and we wish to watch something well made. My focus overall is better simply because my brain feels more well rested and that makes it easier to meditate, which has been proven again and again to improve the functioning of the brain. Plus for me, I think it's weird that we spend so much of our lives watching other people's stories. I recently looked into this and found 70% of people in the US aged 30 to 44 binge often and 90% of Gen Z's binge watch. 37% of Netflix subscribers binge watch at work. Wait, what? And yet from survey data, the content is not personally satisfying. So what, we're just gonna miss the human experience to watch this much TV? Well, here's the trade-offs. Research in 2021 found binge watchers to be more lonely, anxious, depressed, and they are more likely to be insomniacs with high stress. And don't you think it's a bit weird that we can watch 100 videos over a month for the cost of a jar of peanut butter? If you took the challenge with me last week and want to claim your free two hours of career coaching, let me know. You can direct message me or leave a comment if you are seeing this on YouTube. Please do keep yourself highly self-aware. If you had a stressful day and the only thing that you want is to lose yourself in a glass of wine and three to six episodes of something you've already seen, then ask yourself why, look into it. You may find your life going in a direction that is more personally fulfilling. If you missed last week's episode and you want two hours free of coaching, then take the challenge and next week when you succeed, reach out to me and say, I did it, I would like some coaching. I could really use these batteries somewhere else.